I'm gonna be giving you a complete tutorial on how to edit within KineMaster 6 with a special bonus at the end of this video for YouTubers looking to grow their channel. Now I'm doing this tutorial from my iPad, but don't worry if you're on iPhone or Android, it's the exact same experience. It's just a bigger screen, so that way you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Uh, and right when you join, you'll notice that you're on this mix tab and that there's also a search and create tab down below. Now, basically what the mix and the search are, are different templates that you can use. You can scroll through these, you can click play on them, um, watch them, and then if you click the use button, you can actually use them in your videos, but we're not gonna worry about that today. Instead, what we're gonna do is click on the create tab, and what we're gonna do is click new project. In here, we can give our project a name, choose the aspect ratio, whether it's a YouTube video, Instagram reels, different things like that, and then we can click create. Now I know there's a lot of buttons on the screen, so don't worry about the left side or the right side here. We're just gonna focus on this little circle. That's where you're doing most of your editing anyway. So to start, we're gonna add some footage so we can edit. So I'm gonna click on media, and then in here I can choose any album, videos, or photos that I want to add. So what I'm actually gonna do is I have this videos to edit tab. And then all I have to do is just click on the video and it adds it to my timeline. So I'm gonna do that for each of the videos here. There we go. And then I can just click this check mark to make it all go away. Now I can use my fingers and I can scroll through the timeline to look at my video clips. Using pinching, I can pinch out to see more of my timeline or I can zoom in with my fingers to get really up close to do an edit. And I can always add more footage just by clicking this media button and they'll take me right back to my albums here and I can add more footage if I need to. Now, if we want to trim a video clip, we just gotta zoom in here and just click on whatever video clip we want to trim. And we can grab either sides of the clip and trim it just like so. Uh, otherwise, we can scroll to the spot where we want to split and we can click the option up here, trim slash split, and we can click trim to left or trim right, or we can click split in the middle. So if I wanted it to start here, I could click trim left, scroll ahead to right where I want it to stop, and then I could click the trim right button, and there we go, I've trimmed my video. If I accidentally made a mistake and didn't actually wanna trim my video that way, on the far left side here, there is a back button. It's like one of two buttons you have to use on this side. Uh, if I click that, I can actually reverse any action I just did. So there we go, all our splits have returned and I've reversed any actions that I've done. If I wanna rearrange my clips, all I have to do is just hold down my finger on a clip and I can drag it over to anywhere. So I'm just gonna move it over all the way to the end here, drop it down, and now we have that video at the end. So just hold your finger down and you can drag those clips around. Now when you do click on a video, you get all your settings right here. So if I scroll through, I can control the speed, I can make it reverse, I can do a pan slash zoom, but if I click this little equals button, it actually allows me to crop in on my videos and I can just pinch to zoom and it'll apply a crop on the video. I can do filters and adjustments to change the colors and effects of my videos, as well as some sound options down here below. But you'll get all your settings right here when you click on a video. Now I'm just gonna click this back button here and I'm actually gonna look at this audio section. If you wanna add music, you can click that and click music. In order to get music added to our library, you just gotta click on this little store icon here and it'll pull up all the music that you can download and use. Some of it's free, some of it you have to pay for, but you do have access to all of that right there and you can add it right into your video. So if I wanted, I could click this, I could click the add button and there we go. I now have the music added to my video and I can always click on it, drag it around so I can have it playing at the beginning of my video. To add things like text effects as well as some other things, I just have to click on this layers button. So if I click on this, I can do things like handwriting, sticker, text, different effects, add videos on top of videos or add a photo on top of the video. It'll let me control all these things right from this side here. So a quick example, I can click text here, there we go. And then while that text is selected, I have all my settings here like changing font, animations, uh, glow effects, background, all of that right there. And if I wanna move my text, I just use my finger and I can drag it around the screen right there and put it anywhere I want. And if I wanna delete anything, that's the last button you have to use on this side. There's the trash can. I can just click delete and that'll remove it. And I can do the same for videos. If I click on it, I can just use that delete button. 
One last thing, if you wanna add a transition, you just have to zoom in and you'll see the plus, plus icon here between two videos. If you click on that, it'll pull up a whole bunch of different transitions you can choose from. So that way you can have a nice transition in between different video cuts that you do. Once you're finished, just click the export button right here, choose whatever resolution you wanna export at, which usually leaving it on whatever settings is on is good enough. And then you can click save as video and it'll export it to your photo gallery. Now I do have a special bonus for those who are trying to learn video editing so they can make YouTube videos. I just created a training on actionable strategies to get your first 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. If that's your goal, if you're trying to get monetized, I have a link in the description, completely free on me, to help you get your first 1,000 so you can get to that monetization level. So if you're interested, click the link down below and you'll be able to sign up for that free training. And if you're still trying to learn more about KineMaster, check out this playlist right here. I have more tutorials that you can try out on KineMaster to help you further your skills and grow more.